talking with uh, with Jason Marks, Deputy Missoula County Attorney. And Jason, I understand there's been a bit of movement uh, on the Fox Club shooting. What what is the the progress of the case after it's gone to the county attorney's office so far? Well, Peter, uh, we've reviewed the case here, and uh, I can tell you today that we are um, going to be requesting that uh, Sheriff Carl Ibsen, who's also the county coroner, uh, conduct a coroner's inquest into the death of Christopher Heimel. Now, tell me what a, what a coroner's inquest entails. Uh, a coroner's inquest entails uh, the public presentation of uh, the facts of the case, witness testimony, uh, uh, evidence such as surveillance video, et cetera, to a coroner's jury, uh, which then renders an opinion as to whether or not um, uh, that the conduct in question constitutes a crime, or in this case, uh, whether or not the use of force was justified. Now, is this something that's that's commonly done, or is, is this unusual? Uh, it, it depends on the type of case. Um, it, it's statutorily required when someone, for instance, dies in law enforcement custody. Uh, we have done it in other cases uh, involving uh, a death. Um, uh, I think you were uh, around when we uh, did a coroner's inquest for the shooting death of Chad Goodman, uh, for instance. Yes. All right. So now, uh, at, after the coroner's inquest, what's the next step after that? Well, I, I think uh, we need to see uh, what opinion the coroner's jury renders on the case before um, uh, dis- discussing, uh, you know, what may constitute a next step. Sure. So, so who is involved in being part of a coroner's inquest? Uh, who, who's part of the coroner's jury? Uh, it's uh, members of the community that are uh, drawn from the regular uh, jury pool. Okay, so so it's not a panel of law enforcement, it's just regular folks, just like a jury. Exactly. 